need a person to have to repeat the version. To get seven in the back of his whip, we secret served him. Call an ambulance and pick up his people, cause he done fucked around with magic and didn't believe you. So he buried him under his fabric in a different cathedral. Devil with the hair on while his people notice he dipped in a needle. It's hard to explain with these niggas in charge of the game. Under the certain sacrifices to a larger cocaine, they watching your man. The be on your block while you're hustling and clicking sound in your next tail while you're discussing it's politics. I tried to dodge ball around the shit so I could cop a GS drop top and polish it. I knowledge it. Imagine seeing the light from afar. They want to get close to me. Spend a night with a star. I tell you what, ma, you can spend a night in my car. But after I'm done, I could drop you off at the bar. Cause I ain't trying to go down like Mary. I'm too hot. I'm trying to get around so I listen. Got our first guest in the building. You know what I mean? This brother is a rapper, songwriter actor, you know what I mean? He's no straight into these airways. He was just up here uh, about a month ago uh, when the Paid in Full concert series, you know what I mean? Mr. Magic's in the building. It's good, brother. Yo, yo, what's good, man? Thanks for having me, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did your thing last time you was up there. You definitely uh, tossed this mic. I try to, man. I try my best. That's what I, you know, I just want to rhyme. I just, that's it, man. That's all you want to do? That's it. <laughs> so you go by the name Magic Ta. Is it Magic Ta or just Magic? Well, well it, it's Magic Wan, really. Like, my real name is Ta Wan. So okay. I used to work in the barber shop at 9 4 okay. in Amityville. Oh, wow. Rapper by the name of, yeah, rapper by the name of um, King Just. I don't know if I remember him, but um, he was like trying to mix my name up. So it was like, yo, you know. They took the tie off the, the beginning and just put magic wand and like recently I just dropped the wand and so it's just magic, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, That's so. working for you lately, huh? Right, yeah. <laughs> That's how it went down for sure. <laughs> nah, yeah. most definitely, most definitely. Now you definitely have like that gritty flow, that old school flow. Um I can tell you definitely from the golden era. Yeah, man, I'm a nineties kid, man. You know, like um you know, I grew up listening to Busta Rhymes, you know, Wu Tang, Red Man, mm -hmm. you know, then later on when Eminem came in the game and like a little M sticky, you know, just real raw, you know, rappers that tell a story with a little gritty wittiness to them. That's I grew up on that type of shit, man. Okay. So what was it about hip hop that um that caught your eye and caught your ear, like yo, damn. And how old were you when you kicked that first round? Do you remember? <laughs> yo, you know it's crazy, um, a lot of niggas won't admit this, but I started off singing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, you know, growing up and shit, and I was growing up, you know, watching Michael Jackson and all that. Always mm -hmm. wanted to reach that pentacle of, you know, you know, celebrity status, like Mike, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, then, like, you know, growing up in hip-hop, and I think I, the first person I really heard that caught me was probably a record from, um, I say Big Daddy Kane, Warm It Up okay. Kane. You know, because I was living in Florida. Yeah, that's, that's Down crazy. there, it was, like, a lot of... Um, Tone Loke, this was the 80s, you know, like the mid 80s. Tone Loke was out in Florida, you know, all mm -hmm. that um, two live crew shit and all that. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? When I came to New York and I'm hearing Daddy Kane and Special Wed and all that shit, ready. I was, I was, I was open from there. Okay. You know what I mean, plus I grew up, you know, my family's from Freeport, so Flavor Flav used to always be in my crib back in the days, mm -hmm. with Freeport projects and all that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. okay, so I was gonna ask you, where you originally from? Yeah, yeah I was about Freeport. to ask that too. I'm originally from, my family's originally from Freeport. I grew up in Roosevelt and Amity. Okay. Back and forth between Roosevelt and Amityville. That's two rough neighborhoods, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Especially back then. That's a fact. Albany Ave, Park Ave. Right, that's what I'm saying. Albany Ave, Boogie Down, Browns, you know, Flat Tops, 40, shout out to Swerve Boys, Kirk uh -huh. King, you know, Todd Bully and all that. Yeah, that's all family. Yeah, man. they can do They can't do it, they can do They can do it. That's family, man, for sure. Okay. That's serious. So you got you got a mix of Roosevelt and Amityville. That's a mean mix, man. It's a mean mix. I had an opportunity to meet Chuck D. This was about um, this is when the Denver Broncos was in the Super Bowl. Was eons ago. Oh, no, I, no, I mean the, this is the original when uh, Terrell Davis was there. <laughs> oh, yeah. the, right, right, right. Not many not. This is what I'm saying. And um, I have I did a show somewhere in Hempstead, and Chuck was like, "Yo, you got the fever," mm -hmm. and I'm like. Yo, nah, my voice was hoarse. I thought he was like, you know, like telling me like I had to correct something, but he was like, nah, you just on fire because I just eliminated like 11 MCs that night. Yeah. It was a battle. So okay. He was like, yo, you got the fever. So he invited me over to watch this, you know, um, the Super Bowl at his crib and we went and kicked wow. the jokes and business and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I got to sit down with a legend and just get some pointers and stuff like that. So it was cool, man. All right, that's what's up. So let the people know how that experience was actually meeting the legend from, you know, the neighborhood that we all grew up in, you know, from that area. How was that? That was crazy, man, because um, at the time, man, you know, um, I was I wanted to meet him because one of my old, I used to be in a rap group called Top Floor. 
and um, was involved in to shoot five entertainment, you know, me, Fuse, Quest, a whole bunch of other cats, whatever the case may be. Okay. Quest was with them at the time, so I just wanted to meet them and see what they was getting into. It was just a beautiful thing because um, I got some pointers, man. I got some pointers about, you know, my voice and, you know, how to present myself, delivery and stuff like that. I sat down with Chuck, man, so that was just like, you know, no really words can describe how that was, you know what I mean? It was a good feeling though. And then for him to acknowledge me after that, seeing me and just acknowledging me as magic, it was like, wow, he mm. respects the craft. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it was cool. It was cool, man. Because I started out doing this for the oohs and odds, man. You know, right. from that era, just you know, beatboxing, freestyles, 40s, and white hours. Like, no, we definitely noticed that. Because when you came up in here the first time, there was how many MCs? Like about 15, 15. MCs. Yeah. And it was like, we could see that you come from, uh, you know, an era. Or the type of MC that you were, where you know you wanted to basically make yourself known, and we could tell just basically off your energy, the type of uh, thing that you was bringing to the table, man. I appreciate that. You know, most I definitely. That. So, who were some of the? Um, you obviously said Big Daddy Kane. What was it that you liked about some of these artists? Yo, the wordplay, man. You know, I'm not gonna lie, man. You know, when I first heard Busta Rhymes, you know, um, it was it was just crazy because I seen like he was just the animation. He was animated, you know, and it was just like he was saying stuff nobody else was saying, you know. And I, it was just a, it was just amazing to me. I wanted to play with words like that, make people laugh and say, "Oh, that was hot," you know what I'm saying. And then I got into like Onyx when the Back the Fuck Up album came out, mm, you know, okay. and the lyrics on there and Sticky and just his voice and it just. His creativity was just like none other, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, damn, man, I'm going to try to emulate that with my own way, but I'm going to try to give that energy off, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, it was just, just the influences was crazy, you know? Now, you talking about 90s, mid-90s, you know, golden era, classic music mm -hmm. and everything. And obviously, you come from that era, so I think that you're an older guy. You know, you're not in your 20s. I, I said, wait, you're 20s. Obviously, you're probably in your mid-30s. You know what I mean? Around our age. Well, you know, uh, I, you know I, look, I don't look older than 22. Nah, you don't look older at all. You know, you don't um, look old, but yeah. you, you're talking like, you know, like you've seen and did a lot, which I'm sure you have. But let the people know about that grind that comes with trying to crack and, be, um, and get in this industry. Yo, man, I mean, my boy over there can tell you shitty doses. You know, we did a lot of shows together, you know. Um... It's a lot, man. It's a lot. You know, it's a lot of shadiness going on. I've been actually active in this music shit since 9-4. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, 22 years. You know what I mean? So. And, um, you know, which makes me 33 right now. You okay. know what I mean? And, um, you know, we, we did a lot, man. You know, just learning the business now, you know, as far as just being thirsty artists, just, you know, going anywhere to perform, promoters jerking you, taking your money, and mm -hmm. nothing come out of it. You know what I'm saying? We've been opening up for Pat Pools, for Styles P a million times. Mm -hmm. We bought Remy to Long Island. We did the last Greek Fest, 721 Production. Shout out to Mecca. You know, we did the last Greek Fest that bought Lil Mama mm -hmm. and Pat Pools out here and, and Roosevelt and all that. So, you know, just doing a lot of stuff, man. You know, learning the game. You know, it's crazy, man. You learn a lot. And now, at my age, it's like, okay, I'm, I got a company I'm um, starting next month called Global Unity Records. I'm going to sign myself to the company independent and take it off from there. You know? Just, That's um, what up. Yeah, for sure, man. Well, it seems like, you know, you're like the go-getter type. And it seems like, you know, you out to uh, basically do your own thing. You're not looking for anyone else's acceptance. Um, I just listened to one of your tracks that we just played. And you said you're, uh, uh, you're one of eight. Yeah, man. God bless Brenda McCall, man. That's my mom's, man. And, uh, yeah, it's eight of us. I'm the second oldest. So it's, um, it's three boys and five girls, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, five you know, five girls, three boys, and uh, yeah, man, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to have older siblings and feel like, you know, I feel like I'm carrying everybody on my shoulders. I feel like I'm the golden child, so it's up to me to get them out the ghetto and, you know, make everybody life a little bit easier, you know what I mean? Cause, uh, that's with a gift, man, you know what I mean? And I got to take this to another level, you know, in order to receive some financial uh, stability. You know what <laughs> nah, I'm saying? Straight up, man. That is serious, man. I do this shit for the love, man. But you know, at the end of the day, this is the way out for me. You know what I mean? Exactly. Or, you know, also involved with more than just music too. But you know, I let y'all ask questions, man. Yeah. Now, all right. That's so serious. yeah, you touched on the topic. You yeah. said you're involved more when um than just music. What what else are you involved in? Well, um, a lot of people know I started out acting too. I was on a comedy show for two years. You big comedy show. Shout out to Andres Thirteen, Butch and Aaron Allen. Um, I was doing that for two years and um, fell in love with the acting thing, you know what I mean? I write R&B also, 
you know, which is a shock to most people because my lyrics are so vulgar and left field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> it's just, I'm just a character rapper, you know what I mean? It's not really, I'm just creative. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm writing a um, screenplay right now called, called Swipe. It's about the credit card fraud game and all that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing that. Big right now. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. man. But, and nobody touched on that topic. So it was a great, you know, um, topic to touch on. And then, you know, I got a little backing right now with uh, Flavor Unit, who was actually... Um, Came to right? Queen Latifah, yeah, Queen Latifah's flavor and shout out to them. They um actually they're the ones behind Cameron's movies that he be putting out, like Pay the Fall, this and yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I, I guess you know he called the little writers block and his people got in touch <laughs> with my people, my brother originally from the Bronx, and they came to me knowing I'm a writer. So here we are, we halfway done with the script. So. You know, hopefully that'll be out in the summer or two. And that's so you. So you're the executive producer, writer, everything. You're I'm writing everything. I, I I'm not the executive producer, but I'm one of the main writers on 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 the project, which mm -hmm. is a beautiful uh, thing. You know, and, and grateful to be a part of that. You know, I'm having an opportunity. You know. That's definitely what's up. So explain to the people the different process, the you know, the thought process that goes into actually writing a screenplay as opposed to writing rhymes. You could write a rhyme in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. You ain't writing no screenplay. <laughs> You're not even writing the first paragraph because you, it's more detailed. You know what I'm saying? Character description, you know, stuff like that. It's real detailed. You want to give a full on uh, um, description of the character, to explain their ways and this and that. So it, it's it's real detailed. I mean, it, we're we're halfway done with it, and we've probably been writing for almost a year and a half now. Wow. So, that's how, you know, that's that's the difference. So it's going to be a web series or it's going to be uh, a movie, a, a short film? You said that, man, because um, <laughs> shout out to my brother Will, man, because um, we sat down the other day and said, you know, how about we just convert this half a script into 10 episodes and we can start shooting. Right, exactly. So it's crazy you said that because we just officially, 24 hours ago, changed our mind and we're going to change this thing into a web series because it's so huge. We're like, yeah. why not? Yeah. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And then with the other ones and everything, it's just, you know, it's kind of on the same formula but a little different because nobody's touching on that swipe credit card fraud mm -hmm. game. So, But we had some other guys. Yeah, um, love for the love of the scrum. The love of the scrum, yeah, yeah. but they didn't, you know, they didn't come to fruition yet. The yeah. other guys, they touched on it. He had, he had everything mapped out, but right. I don't know, I guess... You know, yeah. shit happens, I guess. But like you said, you're going to be the first to... Cause that, like, like we said, that shit is big right now. The, the exactly. swipes and... Uh, sure, man. You know, All <laughs> over the place. Gift cards, the gift right. things, as they call it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> what, what angle you, is this going to be, like... It's going to be gangster? It's going to be suspense? Comedy? Like, how you trying to go with it? Glad you asked that question, because... We don't want to stick to that norm. You know, guns and drugs and that's it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's going to be a love story. You know what I mean? It's okay. going to be, um, you know, you're going to laugh, you're going to cry. It's going to be a mixture of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, not just the, the typical storyline. You know, and shout out to everybody that's doing it. But, you know, with me and the team that I'm with, you know, we're a bunch of perfectionists. So at the end of the day, we just want to make this thing like no other. You know, it's a right. project. It's our first thing. So we want it to be, you know, a beautiful thing. You start casting yet? Not yet. Not yet. We got our eyes on a few people. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, interviewed a few people uh, in the past couple weeks. Um... You know, I'm not gonna say no names yet, but yeah. definitely some uh, some people that uh, you can relate to and say, "Oh, I know that guy." Oh, I was gonna ask you: Are you trying to get people that's on the street, or are you trying to get like, you know, actors that's that's trying to come up? Yeah, I mean, we actually got some. You know, the people that we're working with from the Bronx got some good connections, man. Okay. You know, so it's a great project, and we had a few people read some of the uh, script, mm -hmm. and they fell in love with it. Was there anyone that coached out like, "Yo, we gotta have this motherfucker <laughs> right here"? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And it's hard right now, you know, to, to, to actually get him. But hopefully we can pull his string because he's... The only thing I can say is he's from the Bronx. Okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? So they put you down. He hitting that something, but he don't want I know. Yeah, yeah, I love music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm going to give him one more little hint, man. You uh, know, he, he was a menace. You know, he was a menace, man. But, you know, right. that's it. Hopefully we can get him. You know, I want to speak it into existence. He's a menace. He's from yeah, the Bronx. I got to do my research now. Yeah, yeah exactly. For sure, for sure. <laughs> for that's sure. a classic film. Yeah, mm -hmm. it definitely it's was, man. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, in the radio, yakwitter.com, we chopping it up with Magic. His brother is a screenwriter, he's a rapper, uh, definitely a lyricist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everything, man. Right? Everything, you know? He, he do it all. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, sure. um, but now, nah, so, you know, hopefully, you know, these bright trades do come to fruition and um, you get everything that you expect out of it. No doubt. Now, you're also uh, a, a hip hop head. Yeah. So, what would, what's your, what, What's your passion? Would it would you would it be the the screenwriting or the 
the hip hop. You know what it is? Writing above all, you know what I'm saying? People that went to school with me know I used to write stories and win story competitions in school all the mm -hmm. time because I'm just a creative writer. So anything that I write that comes to life, whether through audio or video, I'm passionate for. Okay. You know, I'm just passionate for writing above all. My mom was a um, you know English major and my grandmother was an English major, so vocabulary is just a part of me and just being able to put words together and, you know, I've painted pictures, it's just my passion above all, you know? That was the right thing. Let me ask you. Yeah, no, no. No, no, you got it. Let me ask you this. If you had the option to win a Grammy or an Oscar, <laughs> which one would you rather have? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a funny question, man. You know what? I would want to win an Oscar just so I could throw it back at them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I, you know, really, you know, honestly, man, I, I would love a Grammy because, you know what I mean? I, you know, it's, to me, it's more attainable. I ain't, you know what I mean? I ain't going to be fighting 20 years to finally get an Oscar. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, either way, man, just the recognition above all. Just for people to say, yo, this is Magic. He's a writer. He's a rapper. I, you know, at the end of the day, I just appreciate that. And wherever that takes me, you know, I'll be thankful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, in the meantime, I just, you know, I just want to rhyme, man. Show these niggas what's going on and how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Because, you know, where the game is at right now, mm -hmm. and this is another thing, you know, like, you know, I know the lane for my kind of music is dying out. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. there's a new generation of music and this and that. But I refuse to change my lane because of how the game is changing. There's always going to be a market for what you love to do. Mm -hmm. I think you just stick to what you love to do and you'll create that market for yourself. You look at Kendrick Lamar. You know what I mean? One of the new school artists who, you know, stuck to his guns and stayed true to himself and look at him. You know what I mean? He's on top of the game. So that's just an example of, you know, how things work out when you stick to your guns and you keep it real with yourself and your audience. The end that concert. The um, not concert, the painful the full the concert series with the the battle. Um, the 32. You know what? Did you advance? You know what? I didn't go to the battle. You didn't I didn't go? go to the show. Um because of personal reasons. Shout out to everybody that went and did their thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I just didn't, you know, um, I've done, I, I got a few accolades under my belt. I did the Apollo last year. Okay. Um, came in third place and that didn't get booed off. Hip hop act didn't get booed off. Huge to me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I did I did the uh, Hot 97 battle thing. I won in Long Island, des destroyed all, all oh, eight MCs in Long Island 2011 before my car accident. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Summer Jam and did my thing on the pre-stage. Okay. You know, like I said, I opened up for numerous... So you, you have a good resume. You, you, you oh, the resume is out of control. You know, I got in a little trouble after that and I had to do a little, you know, time or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. You know, um, I get it how I live, you know, so it's a product of my environment, did that or whatever the case may be. But before I did that, man, you know, I accumulated a lot of things. So, you know, I pick and choose. You know, now it's like, okay, I can't go backwards. Right. So just to me and my accolades, you know, me for me to do that show and have to pay to perform and do all that was kind of going backwards mm. for me. So I said, all right, cool. I'm, I'd rather take the connection with the radio and come get this radio experience mm -hmm. and network like that and get my, you know, that's where I'm at, man. I want to do radio and, you know, connect and get out of here because right. at the end of the day, I've been putting work for a long time, man. Progress, not regress. That's exactly. what I'm saying, man. You know? Right. Most yeah. definitely, most definitely. I hear yeah. that. Exactly. All right, so you already know what time it is, man. You're an MC, so my man DJ Var about to throw in that beat, or a few beats, because I see you, you know, you're a little <laughs> long-winded when it comes to it, man. <laughs> you know? Word, so uh, DJ Var, you already know Just what time no it is, beats, man. man. It's bad. It's bad. It's fucking you, you doggy beats. I don't shit. want a doggy, you man. Want I don't want a doggy, right. man. I don't want a doggy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We in the building, y'all. X21, Magic Wall, Liverpool Beast Mania. You know what I'm saying? We gon' we gon' take this shit to a whole nother journey, man. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yo. I straight up smash kids. Thought that was a pill, but it's straight up acid. 
I get Little sick in the head, quick and dead Matter of fact, give me my bread Cause it's the M-A-G-I The best in the game while I'm spinning Don't warm rap, they'll probably invest in a chain Niggas is dumb asses, easy to get like bus passes My flow matchless, solid gold like a Dutch master I done told niggas mad, I flip rap like kilos Underground cats with 40 packs and ski coats And stay fire, on stage and haywire I'm a hot boss, when I cross over like hot sauce A nightmare, y'all can't see me, I'm right there To a bitch you, stand back and blew the missile Word the mother, here comes the Nakamichi I disappear to a different career, y'all cannot see me Be the person, to have to repeat the version To get seven in the back of his whip, we secret served him Call an ambulance and pick up his people Cause he done fucked around with magic and didn't believe you So he buried him under his fabric in a different cathedral Devil with the hair on while his people notice he dipped in a needle It's hard to explain, with these niggas in charge of the game Under the certain sacrifices to a larger cocaine They watching your man, the piece be on your block while you're hustling And clicking sound in your next tail while you're discussing It's politics, I tried to dodge ball around the shit So I can cop a GS, drop top, and polish it I knowledge it, imagine seeing the light from afar They want to get close to me, spend a night with a star I tell you what, ma, you can spend a night in my car But after I'm done, I can drop you off at the bar Cause I ain't trying to go down like Mary, I'm too hot I'm trying to get around, so I listen to Tupac, one DMC chain <laughs> Ice this in my new watch, I'm trying to get paid, so I'm spitting while you watch Come on, son, the beat goes on like a track meet That's why I pack heat and sell crack with a back street I hustle to his day break, my money ain't a day late I can't smoke the D-wet, dog, I gotta stay straight Mind though my money, all I see is Big breaks, ill bank account, money stashed in 10 banks Tell your men thanks, so when I come out with 10 tanks After these clips, hit your ship, dog, the shit sex My motto is, the early birds get the worms But nowadays, it's the early girls get the germs The ones with the fat asses, pressing curls with the perms That's why I second guess the sex of girl when it burns I'm too hungry, my dude's thirsty for new money These birds ain't worth nothing, we kicked them out cause they blew funny I can't write no more, my pen got an attitude Bought a bench for my brother, the rims got him acting Food. Can't explain all these haters that want to plot Grimy conversators that want to violate us For all I want, so come with me Walk through the slums with me With a crack breaks like cookie crumbs And they come quickly You a dumb hippie, old Bimmy rapper that ain't nice Get starstruck, see any rapping fake twice And it ain't right, beef and we making your grave sight I break daylight with hustle ratchets that spray light I'm not a role model like Barkley in the 80s Cause I curse out valet when they park in my Mercedes I'm a spark if you don't pay me I need cash quick, a lot of haters out there that don't want to see Madge Rich, Mr. Suicide, crazy homicidal, insane, at a local dance recital, I'm Osama Hussein, that's what you yeah. get for trying to smoke and fly a kite in the rain, he's out of his brain, I never smoked that chronic again, now I'm delusional, look at how Lucifer uses you, one of them thrills and ecstasy fills and soothes you, now you're stupid loose, put a little tubes in your poop will shoot, now you out your hood, skip town and you through the coop, in a hit town, throwing parties that's through the roof, you the type nigga, bitch made with a kitty cat, and walk past us, my dog's ass where the titties at It's pity pack That dude's get smoked like a pity sack Where the Remy at? Cavalcier boys with putty trap Thought Madge asleep Cocksuckers just a nap Cocksuckers just a nap Put a shot in your face While you shot at this and that Yo, I'm on some other shit Middle finger to the government Wild out, son You be rocking that banana Republic shit Uh, Madge won The beast and I be on some shit in the streets And releasing Top of the head And you can get popped in your head And popped in your dome Boy, I'm real wild with the chrome yeah, y'all already know what it is. It's magic in the building, baby. We don't hear like that no more, man. You know, my man took it back with the wordplay. You feel me? The 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 the, the style. I love it, man. Make me feel like we back. You know, back in the early 2000s and the 90s with the with the content, man. I'm loving it. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Before we get out of here, man, let the people know that ain't how they can reach you. Yo, Magic T Y T Y on Instagram, Magic the Article Dawn on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Magic T Y T Y on Google Plus. I just got the SoundCloud. Don't know my shit yet, but I'm gonna put it together. <laughs> uh, manager, you know what I'm saying? But yo, we in here, man. Shout out to my boy Sugar Doses for pulling up. You know what I mean? Next time I'm gonna send y'all the So Sunny joint so y'all can air that, cause that shit is the radio joint they're gonna be going crazy over. But I okay. appreciate it, man. Love is love, man. Yeah, Straight down in the building. Yeah, Stand up. Appreciate right. it, man. Yo, introduce that track, that loser track, man. For Yo, the man. This is um loser featuring me. Well, me featuring voice walkings. Check him out too on Facebook. Loser, man. We got
an alcoholic, my father's a fucking junkie No wonder they never wanted me Hug me and said they love me A product of my depression Fell victim to my obsession For women I'm deeply stressing To sex and with no protection The streets became my father And drugs became my mother A great relationship In time we fight and hate each other Eight brothers and sisters I was the second oldest My mother's shoulder was the coldest And she never noticed All I wanted was love All she gave me was hate Told me I was a mistake Wondering what does it take to feel appreciated So bottles I opened it Started smoking splits and found it with opiates Just to ease the pain, the marks from a curl and I ain't Going to school and hiding, teachers think I'm not applying myself But I'm hiding the whelps and I'm mostly nervous That if it's surface I probably end up in social service